Hi guys, welcome back to Love from the Kitchen. Today we're doing a whole special uh, review, a different review than what we normally would do. But it is a seasonal review, so we thought it was very relevant to the time. Today we're going to compare strawberry salads, which are brought out seasonally by Wendy's and by Panera. And so today we're starting off with, first of all, the uh, Wendy's salad. And we'll see what's in it. Let's move. Panera out of the way. They will be back later. And it's worth noting what I've noticed right off the bat was uh, the price difference. Um, Panera's was $13 and Wendy's was $8.29. So the price is something you may want to consider. Uh, Wendy's has a vinaigrette, they have some candied almonds. If you like nuts or don't, that's good. They put them on the side. Some people have allergies. And we have a fork. And there's the Wendy's bag. And here's the salad. And let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay. Salad is just full of... Uh, chicken and there's some strawberries it smells very good you can smell the strawberries okay i had to get some facts on this this flavor is so good now the wendy's salad says that it's uh sun ripened hand-picked strawberries juicy grilled chicken so it doesn't tell me what's flavoring that chicken so much crisp Grilled, uh, crisp applewood smoked bacon, candied almonds, and a savory Tuscan cheese blend on spring mix of greens. So I'm not really sure what's flavoring that chicken, but I'll tell you, it's really good. Mm. This is that cheese. Okay. Well, we got to compare apples to apples, so I really don't want to get into the, the add-ons. Basically looking at the salad itself, it's a basic salad. But this salad is really loaded with chicken. And it just has a few strawberries sprinkled in there. At this point, you could add almost any type of uh, dressing you want. I prefer like a on a salad like this, like a raspberry vinaigrette. It would just be really wonderful and fruity to complement the strawberries. So there we go. That looks like a pretty good salad for the eight dollars. It's definitely a big meal. Let's see if I can get a weight, even though I probably took eight an ounce off of it. But oh, those lids. Let me see. We've got thirteen ounces. That's a good salad. It's almost a pound of salad. That's a good meal in anybody's stomach. So um, I would uh, recommend that one. Now we're going to move on to Panera. <laughs> I'm just fighting with this thing. Never mind. We're going to move on to Panera. That was Wendy's. And Panera, if you've ever ordered from them, I don't know. I'll give us a fork. That's nice of them. They always provide the bread, but you can choose something else if you want. But there's a, a piece of their bread, which they give with their soups and, and salads. And that's this all came out of Panera's bag. So we're all kosher here. Same page, okay. And it says greens by Panera. Now we're going to compare this salad. Let's see what it weighs before I open it. Oh, that's heavy. That's heavy. 
we're comparing one and a third pound. One and a third pounds compared to 13 ounces. So this one's another six ounces. And let's see. This one though, now if you have nut allergies, you'll want to let them know because this thing is covered in nuts. We've got a couple of containers of poppy seed dressing. Now Panera says about this salad, chicken raised without antibiotics, romaine lettuce, mandarin oranges, and fresh strawberries, blueberries, and pineapple tossed in poppy seed dressing and topped with toasted pecan pieces. French baguette, they call that bread. Now, lots of pecan pieces. So again, you want to tell them if you got nut allergies ahead of time, don't put any nuts. I don't know if they can. Uh, they can probably leave the nuts off, but what I'm saying is I don't know if the salad would be not already exposed at some point. Um, something to discuss with them if you have allergies. Chicken. Okay, we got... I have quite a few strawberries, but these strawberries, you see how that strawberry is white and pink? That is not a ripe strawberry. See that? That one's about half ripe. I'm going to show you a difference. See that? That's a ripe strawberry. Big difference. Big difference. They're dark red like that and very little white. That's a piece of cheese. Um, that's a ripe strawberry. It'll be sweeter, it'll be juicier, it'll be a lot better. These strawberries were not picked very ripe. Kind of like the strawberries you get in those cheap containers at the, at the markets. I'm sorry, I keep leaning over here. I'm getting out of camera. I need to scoot over. Okay. So, yeah, that's a that's a ding. Um, a lot of nuts on here. Now, here's some mandarin oranges. I don't know about you. I love mandarin oranges. Mm. Blueberries, pineapple. Very fruity salad. Very sugary salad. Now it's true, Panera promotes a lot of healthy eating and and uh, organic and and antibiotic free and all that. They also push a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar. Their drinks, their they've got these different uh, lemonades and teas and all that, all sugar. And all these fruits, yeah, fruits are healthy, but you've got a concentration of sugar with the oranges and the pineapple and the blueberries and the strawberries. There needs to be more of a balance uh, with that. So that's just my opinion. Now, I'll show you something with the chicken. Remember Wendy's? It was covered in, in chicken. Um, I guess a good weight comparison would be, I got to try and keep these in the shot. But a good weight comparison would be to weigh, probably weigh the chicken. Um, there's some down in here, some more pieces if you dig around. But you're not, chicken's not the star of the show, the fruit is, and the nuts. Chicken's kind of a, Have a background character in this play. So there we go. Those are the bigger chunks of chicken. There's a few flakes in there. There we go. So that amount of chicken compared to 
Now let me try and get this back into the camera shot here. Without making a horrible mess out of everything. But I really want to show you. Okay. Look at this. There you go. This amount of chicken compared to this little pile. About half, maybe a third of the chicken, two thirds of the chicken that Wendy's has. Yet, uh, the price and the, the salad's heavier, but it's got a lot of fruit. Let's see how much the chicken removed. It brought it down, it's still just over a pound. So this only counts for a few ounces. Let me do this. Yeah, it's not scientific, but you'll get the point. That chicken weighs three ounces, which is typical meat weight. Does it taste as flavorful? No. Very bland. Okay. I think I've uh, seen and tasted enough. I'm a little disappointed in the Panera. It's heavier, but it's just a deeper bowl. It has more lettuce. See the this is Panera. This is Wendy's. You can see the difference in the thickness of the bowls. Plus all that fruit in here. This is supposed to be a strawberry poppy seed salad. The strawberries aren't even ripe. Disappointing. So in my evaluation of these two, in my review of these two, they're both good salads in their own way. But for a strawberry chicken salad, I'd have to give it to Wendy. The strawberries are riper. They're sliced better. Oh, much better strawberry. Look at that. There's no white in that strawberry. That is a good strawberry. See that? No. Can't beat it. So, it just depends what you want. If you want more fruity, more sugary, um, and then you dump that poppy seed vinaigrette on here, more sugar. Uh, if you want that in your salad, then... Um, with the Panera. Remember too, the Panera is thirteen dollars compared to eight, it's five dollars more. Um, the Wendy's is eight dollars. Uh, doesn't have all the nuts and fruits. It's got strawberries, it's got cheese, it's got chicken. That's what it's supposed to be. Five dollars less. So, thank you for watching. I hope that helps you make a decision on which one you would like to eat. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Have you had both of these? Have you had one of them? Let us know what you think of these salads. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of this video. We'd love to hear from you. Please give the video a like and please subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this. Uh, we'd like to do more of these food reviews. Um, so please. Uh, Help us out with YouTube and to get our videos pushed out there more to more people uh, so that we can create more content. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a blessed day.